In my previous video from a week ago, I showed you the start of my hobby open source gardening project with Raspberry Pi. Today, I would like to focus on the soil moisture sensor that I'm designing. This is a simple low cost analog sensor that you plug into the soil to measure the moisture. I would like to do some tests in order to check whether these sensors work. My setup includes a Raspberry Pi Zero W, couple of these soil moisture sensors that are attached to the Raspberry using the Anavi gardening fat that you saw from the previous video. This is a custom add-on board for Raspberry Pi that I'm also designing. Next to the Raspberry Pi is my laptop. I'm an Ubuntu user, I have opened a terminal and I have logged in remotely to the Raspberry Pi using SSH. Uh, there is a Python script that I have developed in order to check the data from the soil moisture sensors. Here I have two pots. The first has been watered a few minutes ago. The second pot is dry. You can notice the difference in the values returned by the two sensors. If I remove one of the sensors, you notice how the value decreases to zero. Naturally, the top layer of the soil is more dry than the bottom layers. Therefore, if I plug the sensor deeper, the value will increase. The second pot is dry, therefore I'm going to put some water in it. You can notice how the measurements are going up and when there is enough water, the value goes above 750 units. These sensors are not very accurate, but they're low cost and they're good enough to determine whether watering is required. There is a threshold value, which is around 400, 450 units. If the measurement is below this value, then you need to water the pots. I'm doing a quick cross check by swapping the sensors. The second sensor is going to the first pot and the first sensor is going to the second pot. Finally, I'm removing the sensors from the pots and you can notice how the measurements are quickly going down to zero. Probably you're wondering what kind of units are we seeing? As I said at the beginning, this is an analog sensor. It is very simple. The two large probes are acting together as a variable resistor. As we all know, the water is a good conductor. Therefore, when there is water between the two probes of the sensor, there is a higher resistance, which results in a higher value from the measurements that we do from the Python script. Raspberry Pi doesn't have a dedicated analog to digital converter. Therefore, I have added one to the custom add-on board, which I have showed you in the previous video. I have designed Anavi soil moisture sensor using the free and open source software tool KiCad. All schematics and files are already available in GitHub. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos.